Hey everyone, I know it's been a while, and you remember last time we got together, we talked about the bookends of the market, meaning that even at the entry level, first time home buyer level, prices are increasing, it's getting a little more difficult for them to enter the market. And then also on the other side, we're seeing prices increase and homes are selling for, in our valley, higher prices than we've ever seen before. We are definitely confirming over and over again that we're in an escalating market, and we know the situation that's developing it. It is a supply and demand situation. Simply, we just don't have the homes available to meet the demand of people who want homes. Question that follows that usually is, well, how do we change that? Because I think there is a good group of people that are tired of seeing these 20 plus percent increases year over year in home vice, unless you're a homeowner and then you're pretty excited, right? However, what would it take to maybe dip that just a little bit so we're still having some healthy growth, but just not so extreme? There's only two ways to affect a supply and demand market. Either the demand has to drop or supply has to increase. And the demand dropping, well, we've seen in episodes that we've done before, that's not unlikely. There's just evidence after evidence that we're probably looking at some years to come of demand remaining the same, if not increasing. If it diminishes, probably not a whole lot. So supply, why aren't we increasing supply? Well, that's really not as easy as you would think. I mean, it might sound simple, but not easy. To increase the supply, we would either have to have a bunch of homes that already exist come on the market, which means there'd have to be some kind of mass movement out of Boise area, which not likely to happen. The other way would be new construction. I mean, we gotta build some new homes. Maybe that is a good question then. Why are we not building new homes? Well, there are several challenges there as well. For a builder or a developer, it really starts at the city and county level. That's where you get your permits and permissions to either develop a neighborhood, a subdivision, or build the house. And what we do know for sure is that right now, permits for both developments as well as permits for building a home are taking longer than ever before. Sure, some of that's probably due to the pandemic, and there's probably a lot of other issues that we just don't know about, but it's taking longer. For instance, when I built a home, 12 years ago, I know that makes me old and out of date, but man, I would take all my stuff down to get the permit to the city and I would go back seven to 10 days later and usually that permit was ready for me to go and start building. Now I'm hearing from builders that it can take as long as four months. Can't start building a house until you have a permit. On the development level, we are coming out of a world pandemic and there's no doubt that that's affected development, but this is the way it's affecting us the worst right now. The lots, this is the, the dirt parcels that builders were planning on right now to build homes for the summer and fall market. A lot of them aren't available. And in fact, they probably won't be available until the earliest being this fall or maybe even this time next year. So what that's led to is another level of, of trouble to increasing supply. There are a bunch of builders in the Boise area who aren't even building close to their capacity because there's nowhere to build. The third level, builders that are building, man, they're dealing with challenges that they've never seen before. Challenges that have to do with the cost of materials, the cost of labor, and the availability of materials. I mean, consider this, from August to now, lumber alone has increased by 40 to 45%. Some things have even doubled in price. An example, you know, four by eight sheets of half inch press board is what I'd call it, because it's wood chips that has glue pressing it together. It's called sheeting when you're in the building industry. I remember two years ago, you could, you or I could have went to Home Depot and bought that for probably about nine to $12 a sheet. As of last Friday, it was 52 bucks a sheet. One builder told me a story of pulling up to a house where his framers were framing and the head framer comes over and hands him a revised invoice. Sorry, but the price has gone up $1,000 from the bid I gave you 17 days ago. These are crazy challenges. Will the light fixtures arrive on time? Because you wouldn't believe the amount of stuff that isn't arriving on time. All this to say that the systems that would lead us to be efficient and effective at, a, at addressing a supply issue on the new construction side is a bit challenging right now. So what does this mean for us? Well, it means this, if you're a seller, oh my gosh, if you're thinking about selling your home, you're probably looking at one of the best opportunities we've ever seen in this valley. For the next six, let's just say, probably for the remainder of this year, at least six months, there's gonna be an unprecedented need for homes on the market because our builders are unable to build at capacity and there are st there's still a demand coming into our valley that's at or maybe even slightly above what it's been in the past. 
that also means there's going to be some increased value on the market for homes that go on. What if you're a buyer? Well, it means there's going to be a lot of competition. And the only advice I could give to you is don't give up because interest rates are still at historic lows. And there's just never been a time where whether you're a seller or a buyer, you got to have a really good plan because it's a market that's still good to people, but it's good to the people that are ready for it. And that's where we could probably be of great help to you. We would love, if you're considering whether it's selling or buying, to just have a chance to sit down with you, have a conversation with you uh, about options that you could have that would really help you achieve whatever it is your real estate needs are. They could be taken care of, even in a market as challenging as this one. Moving forward, though, we're looking at some more challenges with low inventory, increasing values. And for some people, that's going to be fantastic. But for buyers... We're, it's still going to be challenging, but not impossible. And if we can help, please contact us. We'd love to connect with you. So until next time, because next time we're going to be talking about some more that's happening in our market, because, man, there's a westward movement coming, and we'll talk some about that. Until then, take care.